According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, just 18 percent of people with disabilities are employed, over a third of which are only employed part time. Well, one Israeli company is trying to change the taboo around employing people with disabilities. And joining us with more is Dr. Gil Winch, the founder and CEO of, Ka- of Kal Yachol. Kal Yachol. Is it Kol Yachol or Kal Kol Yachol. Kol Yachol. C-A-L-L. Right. Kol. Okay. Very cool. Kal Yachol. All right. So tell us about your company. Well, we started out 10 years ago um, as a free market company, but most of the company, two thirds of the company yeah. and staff of, and management are severely disabled individuals who have been previously unemployed, chronically unemployed. And we opened the company in order to prove that a wide range of severely disabled people can attain regular productivity and be like everyone else. Well, you know, I just I, I mentioned that right before uh, we started this interview that there is a taboo that exists around the disabled community yes. when it comes to work. Can you talk to us a little bit about that kind of the issues that some of these yeah, people face? Yeah, I, I first heard about about the rate of unemployment about 16 or 15, 16 mm-hmm. years ago, and it didn't make sense because we're not doing the agriculture thing anymore. Yeah. And there's no reason why people who are sitting on a wheelchair who are who are legally blind, there's no right. reason for The majority not of us are sitting right uh, in front of a desk so all day long, So why are they right? out of work? And, yeah. and we, we went to find out why, and we tried to interview lots of people, map all the reasons we heard, and put together an operating model that would cater to everything we heard, all, yeah. the, all, the, all the problems we heard. And then to prove it, we opened a for-profit company in order to see that if we survive in the free market, but with our, our staff being mainly disabled people, then there's the proof in the pudding, so to speak. Now, now when you say disabled, are you talking about physical disabilities, mental disabilities? Is there a breakup in terms of, of who you employ and who you help find employment? Yeah, that's a great question because everybody has the, yeah. the categories going. Yeah. But we found out that if you've been at home for 10 or 20 years unemployed, it doesn't matter what your official disability is, you have a various range of traumas and rejection syndrome, uh, symptoms, yeah. that, that those are the biggest hindrance to getting back to the worst workplace. We right. hire everybody other than cognitively uh, disabled people because we're free market, they can't survive the, 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 the training. Right. But other than that, mental, emotional, uh, wheelchair, blind, deaf, we hire And And everybody. so you also help place uh, these people with other jobs no, too? They no, they all okay. work for us. We are the, we are the employer. Yeah, and we so, outsource to different companies, but they're all our employees. Very interesting. In so what has the response been to this business model that you've created? Well, it's, actually, it's been amazing because we didn't know that there's no such company in the world before we opened. Yeah. But there isn't. So we've had more than 60 countries come to visit us to see how this thing works. Of it course. works in three languages and, and we have various places. Uh, we operate from f- a few various branches. We have very, very diverse managerial teams. Mm-hmm. And, and it works amazingly, amazingly well. And it totally changes all the... Yeah, was there a personal story that led to this? Or it was just seeing these statistics that bothered you? Well, I was, I was told uh, a long, long time ago that I, I have incurable cancer and that I'm, I have a very short lifespan and they gave me an awful lot of disability because of that yeah but not that i'm disabled in any kind of way right. and that got us thinking that i would like to do something with the time i have left which is a lot as far as i'm yeah, concerned of course to, to make the, the world a bit of a better place than it was and and this is well, what i we mean found. you clearly already are i think this is incredible what you're doing and i really hope that people pick up this business model around the world it's good that you're having people come and visit yeah there's a lot of interest actually yeah. so hopefully it will all right, well, thank you so much for joining us, My Dr. pleasure, thank you. Thanks for watching End Time Signs Updates. If you like video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. May God bless you and we look forward to seeing you back again for our next video.